welcome to week two of our series, The Search, yeah. where we are on a mission to find the one true meaning of Christmas. Tash, as cool as last week was, was where cool. we went to search the depths of the ocean, unfortunately we didn't yeah. find any answers, but this week, hopefully, we'll do a lot better. I'm feeling yeah. lucky and I think we're going to get some answers. Keith, I really hope so. I'm feeling good about yeah, it. Like, so, so am I. I think we're getting somewhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, before we get into okay. anything else, yes. I have another gift for you because oh, I, I realized Tash. how much you appreciated your Thank gift you. from last week. I mean, yeah. you thought you were getting a frying pan, yes. but you actually got the most epic Christmas socks. But in between that, I thought I was getting a cell phone. Yeah. So that like made it a bit worse. Frying pan, yeah. cell phone, socks. socks. Ah. I did mess with the emotions just a bit. Roller coaster. But yeah. it was funny. No, it was. And they're cool Christmas socks. Definitely. So this week I thought we'd be a bit sentimental. Okay. And so I didn't get you a gift. Yeah. Uh, but I wrote you a card to oh. show my appreciation okay. for you as my friend. Okay. And for just being here with me every week. It's just been great, hey? It has been great. So you can open this and just okay. you can read it out if you want so to. So I'm gonna read out to the kids how much you it. appreciate me as a friend. You know, because okay. we're such good friends. Okay. We go through everything too. Do you like glitter? I hate glitter, especially purple Guys, glitter. Guys, this is the thing. If you are struggling to think of a Christmas gift, just put glitter into absolutely anything because you can't go wrong with glitter and you might okay. make the other person really, really mad. But it'll be really funny to watch. So you can put glitter into anything. But you can get glitter and sequins and just go crazy. Maybe for your dad, he might love it. He will but not love don't, it. But don't tell him it was me, all righty? Well, Keith, yep. it's my pleasure. You know, Thank you're you. a great friend. Thanks for Thank everything. You. And At least uh, you said my jokes are funny. Your so jokes I appreciate are funny. That. Yes, they're, they're funny. He's Thank got some you. good jokes. Well guys, yeah. you can get creative mm -hmm. and let us know what you come up with, okay? I want to see your ideas because I love glitter and I love gifts. I love giving gifts with glitter. But for now, let's stand to our feet. We're going to worship our king yeah. and go absolutely crazy because he deserves every bit of it. Let's go. Jesus, I love you, 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 Jesus, I love you,
just incredible. I absolutely love doing actions. If you guys are singing that, why don't you stand on up because I've got one more thing that you guys are going to be doing. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to be doing the memory burst dance. Oh yes, that's what it is. This week's memory verse dance comes from 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15, which reads as follows. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Now we've been speaking about Christmas and we all know that that indescribable gift is Jesus Christ and we are so thankful that God blessed us with them. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to the very first dance and we want to see you guys' best actions. So let's go straight into it. There's this jingle in the air, the sound of Christmas everywhere. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? There's this buzz that's going round. Can you hear the merry sound? Do you feel it? Do you feel it? So it's Christmas time again. Another year comes to an end. Are you ready? Are you ready? Cause it's all about the one. The one who came down as the sun. Is Jesus our Savior. It's all about Jesus. Came as a baby. There's this jingle in the air, the sound of Christmas everywhere. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? There's this buzz that's going round. Can you hear the merry sound? Do you feel it? Do you feel it? So it's Christmas time again, and now the year comes to an end. Are you ready? Are you ready? Cause it's all about the one, the one who came down as the sun. Is Jesus our Savior? It's all about Jesus Came as a baby Born in a stable Left his throne in heaven Thanks be to God for his indescribable Gift that came to save us He died on the cross So we could be set free To live a life forgiven To bring heaven to earth And live as a child of Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love sweets, mm. especially the ones with lots of sugar in it. It's probably not even healthy, but it's the Christmas season and the sweets are lying out everywhere. I cannot help but eat it. It just somehow ends up in my mouth. Now, if you guys have been around for any time, you would know that this is called a candy cane. Candy canes come out around the Christmas season and we can just eat them to enjoy the taste or we can look at the deeper meaning behind the candy cane. So a candy cane represents a staff and a staff is what the shepherds would use to bring all their lost sheep back to the flock. Let's see how that works. Okay, so now you sort of have an idea of how a shepherd uses his staff. Mm. So here's something really cool. Did you know that in the Bible, Jesus is referred to as the Good Shepherd? As a shepherd cares for his sheep, so Jesus cares even more so for us. And if you turn the candy cane upside down, it looks like the letter J. I told you today would be exciting. So today we see that Jesus cares for us all the time and he's the ultimate shepherd. Let's see what our friends are up to today. So 
Mikey, yes. since when are you into the whole mountain biking thing? Just, well, you know I'm this? not really into mountain biking, but I thought this look just works for me. Yeah, and how's that working out for you? Well, it's actually pretty cool, except for the fact that these shorts underneath feel like nappies. Yeah. Listen, you're going to be thankful for those nappy pants once we start riding. Yeah. Quick question. Yeah. Have any of you guys done mountain biking uh, before? Well, I've watched some videos on YouTube and Watch Super videos. Sports. Great. Yeah, and I've, I've done some spinning classes yeah, at the gym. I this. mean, that's good. That's good. Okay, this is, this is going to be an interesting ride. Tash, trust me on this one. I brought you guys here today. We are definitely finding answers to the meaning of Christmas. Okay, so, so just to clarify, we are on a search to find the one true meaning of Christmas, but we have no idea what exactly, exactly we're looking for. Yes. Exactly. Guys, I brought you here. Trust me, we've got this. Keith, the okay. thing is, is last week yes. we were mm. almost eaten by sharks yeah. and stingrays. Okay. Yes. This week we mm. might break a leg or a neck. So if we come out of here alive, uh. then maybe we find the meaning. I, I, mm. Well, Tash, do you know how to ride a bicycle? I think so. Do you know how to ride a bicycle? Yeah, spinning. Trust okay, me, babe. we're going to find the meaning of Christmas. Keith, I hope you're out. I have my doubts. Well, it's too late now. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's come. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Team. Yeah. Well, guys, anything? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I saw a lot. I saw yep. a lot of trees, like Christmas trees, Christmas. but nothing that really points no. to the true meaning of Christmas. No. Guys, it looks like it's back to the drawing board. Yeah. We we have found nothing so far, but the thing is, it has to be out there somewhere. We it has just to be. obviously yeah. haven't looked hard enough. Yeah. But we just can't give up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm nervous to ask this. Yeah. But where are we going next? Okay, guys, Keith. now I, I really need you guys to trust me. <laughs> this fine. next destination, we are going to find the one true meaning of Christmas. Okay. I'm telling you guys, I feel it. You better be right about it. I this. really hope you're right because we are seriously running out of time here and yeah. we are risking our lives weekly yeah. to find this meaning. But um, if you say it, I'm, yeah. I'm going yeah. to trust you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. Well. Let's go. Yeah.
I give you my whole heart Nothing in this world is as big as you are And even when I'm scared I know that you are there In the deepest, darkest nights You're there next to me So I'll stay Well, guys, it is so good to just set time aside to truly focus on Jesus, to give him our full attention, blocking out all the distractions that life can give us, right? Now, a lot of us out here today, me included, some of you out there, already call ourselves children of God, where God is our dad in heaven. He's our king of kings, our lord of lords, that we know who he is and we know that he knows us. And so the thing is that there are some people out there who might not know Jesus as their dad, who might not call themselves children of God. And so I want to give you a chance today to pray a really simple prayer of asking Jesus into your heart, which means you can then call yourself a child of God, which is super, super exciting. So if that's you, I'm going to pray a prayer and all you need to do is repeat after me. So how about all of us out there, close our eyes, support our friends who are praying for the first time, and let's trust Jesus. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I know I mess up sometimes, but I thank you for dying on the cross to forgive my sins so that I can be completely forgiven, so I can call myself a child of God. So Jesus, today I choose you. I choose to follow you every day for the rest of my life. Come live in my heart. Make me a brand new person, a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you said that prayer today, well done for saying that prayer. Make sure that you tell someone, whether it's a leader, whether it's a family member, whether it's anyone older than you, that you can discuss the decision that you made today. Well done for that. Guys, that's all from us for this Sunday. Stay tuned for next Sunday. Make sure that you are there to see what's going to be happening. I won't lie, I'm pretty nervous myself because you never know what those ladies are plotting against me. So make sure to be there and see what's going on. I don't know if I live through it or not. See you there. Have a great Sunday. Guys, it's me again. 
Guys, I have to tell you, I can't leave you without amazing jokes. Okay, um, guys, Christmas is all about laughing and having fun and, and, and yeah. And hey, they had a banana somewhere. Where did my banana go? Oh, where did I put it? Oh, I think I lost my banana. Um, anyway, cookies are much better. Um, yeah. Oh, have you tasted? Uh, guys, you have to taste my mum's Christmas cookies. They are amazing. They are the best. Um, what was I going to do again? I was going to tell jokes, of course. Guys, um, uh, ooh, I have a nice one. Okay. What did the one snowman say <laughs> to the other snowman? He said, can you smell carrot? <laughs> oh, guys. <sighs> what was the other one again? Um, oh, yes. What do you call an old snowman? Water! <laughs> oh, guys. You know, I really want to know what the meaning of Christmas is. Like, we're talking about it and... I just want to know, what does it mean? <sighs> I guess we'll find out soon. Oh, if you have funny jokes, send them in. We would love to hear from you. I'll see you next week.